Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks so much for joining me. Well, I'm excited to share a project with you. We're using some Say It With Stamps items. Um, these are new. Say It With Stamps has a, a collection called Inside Out. What that means is you can there are sentiments that can go on the inside of the card, on the outside of the card, um, and I think you can switch it out. I think it's a fantastic idea, and I love that there's also a coordinating large die um, that will will go with it. Whoa, <laughs> sorry about that. She, we have the back door open. It's a beautiful day. It's a, <laughs> my little kitty cat just comes running across. Sorry. <laughs> but now we're making a get well card. This is the inside out get well. This is the get well soon um, die set. This also has a shadow and I'll show you that in a minute. But I do want to say that I'm going to keep this card really simple and we're only going to use for embellishing a card. I always think band-aids go really cute with a get well. So what we're going to do is create our own band-aids. It's going to be super easy. If you have any kind of nested arch die set, break it out because you can make different size band-aids that are so adorable and um, very easy to create with. So we're going to be using this on our card today too. We're gonna go ahead and jump in and get started. This is our Get Well Soon die. It does have a shadow, which is wonderful. And I love how large it is. This is an A2 card base. And you can see it fits perfectly on here. I guess I could flip it around. <laughs> um, but not only does it fit portrait style, it fits beautifully landscape. So it does fit on the A2 card, which I think is fantastic. We're gonna take some white cardstock and some vellum. Um, and then also some glittery cardstock. I like to pretty up a get well card to make the recipient smile. And this is a no shed iridescent glitter piece of cardstock. It's white and when the light hits it in certain areas you'll see facets of pink and greens and multicolors. And I think that's going to go great on our card today. So I'm going to die cut out my get well soon probably put it this way, with that white glitter cardstock, my shadow I'm going to die cut out with vellum. And then with a piece of white cardstock, I'll probably bring in a couple more sheets. I'm going to stack them together to create like a chipboard effect um, with my Get Well Soon. Now if you want to use foam, you can do that also. But sometimes the stability of stacking cardstock just makes it real solid card. So I'm going to die cut these out and then we'll layer them together. Here's my glittery get well soon. This will go right on top and we'll go ahead and just use some glue and adhere it. We'll stack the glittery one right on top of our first white one. And it stacks so nicely. And then I'll stack these all underneath each one of these for a little bit of dimension. And that glitter on the top. Now I'm going to take this and we're going to adhere it right over the vellum. And instead of using glue for the vellum, I am going to bring in my tape runner. I find sometimes when you use glue with vellum that it does warp the vellum a little bit. So I will tack this down right over the top, centering it. And our sentiment is good to go. Now I'm going to bring in some pattern papers. The pa papers I'm going to bring in are from the My Colors cardstock. Now I'm mentioning that and I'll tell you the colors because these are available in individual sheets. I believe they're 12 by 12 sheets. So I trim them down into quarters and um, six by six pieces. But what I love is, this is just not normal cardstock. The My Colors cardstock have details to them. For example, these two are mini dots. So they're raised, and I thought these would make great band-aids. So we're going to be using these. 
And then with these two colors, these have like a pearly shimmer to them. It's not glittery, it's like a pearlish color. And then there's also like a linen texture to them. This is called the Glimmer Sheets. So we have mini dots and glimmer sheets. We're gonna use these both to create band-aids. And I mentioned to create the band-aids, it's super easy. This is our A2 Nested Arches die set. And I'm gonna take the smallest for my card today. But really, if you wanna make a larger five by seven card, you would just increase the size of what we're doing today. Now I'm gonna die cut out two, um, two arches with each one of my pattern papers. I'm gonna do that right now and I will be right back. So I went ahead and did my die cutting, two of each of the smallest arches. Now I'm gonna tell you the colors of the My Colors cardstock because these are available um, at your favorite craft store in individual sheets. So you have these two that are the Glimmer and we have the Willow Green and the Pink Delight. These two that are the mini dots, the California Poppy and then this is the John Quill. Jean Quill, kind of sound French. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it sure is a pretty yellow. Okay, so, and when I, I do want to mention that when I did die cut this out, the texture on there is still there. So that's a great, great thing to create the band-aids. Are you ready? It's very, very simple. We'll start off with our yellow. What we're gonna do is take some scissors and I'm going to trim a square off one side. You want to make sure just a square shape like this and like this, right? I'm going to take glue, add it to the other side here, and you can make the band-aid as long or as short as you want. And I'm going to make my band-aids one and three, two and three quarter inches, two and three quarter inches. Now you can shorten them if you want. Okay, so we have a almost a band-aid. You can see this seam here. We're gonna cover that up with this square. But I do wanna add a little bit of um, color variant to that. So I'm gonna bring in my finger daubers. I think there may be enough ink on my finger daubers to add a little bit of color to the edges. Just so it looks different from this one. And then I'll take this, flip it around, add some glue. This is gonna go right over the seam, right in the middle, like so. Super easy to create a cute little Band-Aid. Now I'm gonna make this Band-Aid a little bit cuter. I'm bringing in some red cardstock. And then I have a heart punch, but if you have a heart die, you can bring that in. I'm gonna punch out four hearts. I'm gonna add a little glue to the middle here, and we're gonna add a heart to the center of our little Band-Aids, just centering it. And Band-Aid one is done. I wanna repeat the process. Again, we just trim off a square, add some glue. We can tack this down. All our Band-Aids are the same size. I'm gonna bring in an orange finger dauber, add a little ink to the edges here, add some glue. We will tack this down right in the center. Add some more glue for our heart. And then we will tack that down. And I'm going to continue on. So all my band-aids are done and I just think they look super cute. And again, we may not use them all, um, but I just think it's perfect for a get well card. Now for my background, oh, I wanted to show you. I created a big one too. Just, just to show you the size difference, I used this die here. So that's a nice, I think that would cheer somebody up having a big band-aid on a card. <laughs> This is a card base. I think that's cute too. <laughs> um, so break out your nested arches. I think they'll make a great 
band-aid set <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take two pieces of white cardstock for our background i'm going to take the largest two dies i will cut these out and create a frame with them just a skinny narrow frame and then i'll take the largest one and cut out a background and i will be right back so i have my arch i went ahead and put some foam adhesive all around the edges because I do like a little bit of dimension. But if you don't like dimension, you could skip that step. And then for my background, I did emboss this with an embossing folder. And you, could, you don't have to do this, but I, I think I like the texture in the background. So I took my Band-Aids. And I'm going to cover the background, the entire background here. And for the most part, they're, it's going to be covered but you are going to be able to see the colors behind it here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to flip it around. We're going to trim off the excess here. Wonderful. And the great thing about having extra pieces is you can use them to fill in any open areas. After our background's done, I'm going to flip around our sentiment. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And we're going to tack this down right in the center. And we have that dimension. And then I'll take this panel and we'll put this on our card base. I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of my arch. And then I will tack this right over the embossed arch. For the front of the card, I'm going to be stamping Sending You a Get Well Hug. And I'm going to stamp this on some black cardstock using my stamping positioner. I'm going to treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. I'm going to go over my sentiment. Again, this is Sending You a Get Well Hug. I stamped that with my watermark ink and then I'm going to go over this with my white embossing powder. I'll just tap off the excess and then I'll use my heat gun and we will melt this and then I'll block it off. We'll put this one back and then I did put foam adhesive behind here. We're going to place this on our card. And I'm going to put it just under the get. We will tack this down, kind of centering it. Wonderful. And then for the inside, since we have an inside out get well, we're going to add a sentiment. And I like just checking in to see how you're doing. And I'm going to stamp that with black ink on the inside. And if you wanted to stand, or cut out a few more of the band-aids and put it on, in, on the inside, I just think it would be so cute. But I will stamp this right in the middle. And I think I'm going to make a one more band-aid real quickly for the inside since we used them all. And again, it's so easy to make. We just tack this down. And you don't have to make them two and three quarter inches wide. You could do any any length that you want, really, as long as you cover the seam. And I need a little bit of ink here. We will ink up the edges a bit. I put some glue behind here. And I think we'll just tack this down right on the inside.
put that back and then that will finish my card today. I hope this gives you some fun ideas on, on the inside and outside Get Well stamp set along with the Get Well Soon Die and um, your A2 nested arches. Super fun. But thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.